Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to another American Wireless Alarm how-to video. Today we're going to cover a quick how-to playback a video on the NVMS 7000, either on your PC or Mac. So, from the main view, which is where most people are starting at, we've got a multi-camera view here, and uh, we're going to go to our top header, and I've got device management opened, I've got remote playback open, and main view. These tabs are uh, basically removable, so if I close those two down, uh, then all I've got is the main view. So if you don't have those tabs on your header, just go to the view, click on remote playback, and uh, you've got that header in place. <clears throat> the multi playback window is what will populate and most people are only going to play back one camera at a time but technically if I wanted to I could set the parameters for this to play back on a certain date on a certain time on a particular camera that I can have this window playing back the same camera at a different date and time and so forth and so on so I can have four individual playbacks going at the same time most folks just typically do a single. So I'm going to go over here to my multiplex window, click on a single camera display, go to my date, and we will pick calendar. Oh, sorry. And let's see what's going on as of today. So I basically have from the start on the 5th through the 5th, so it's just today, and I've got it looking at from noon to midnight, which has not occurred yet. And my local time is 6.30 p.m., uh, and I'm going to hit OK on that, and we're going to say camera number 1. Once I double-click on the camera, I've given it date, time, and camera. It's going to automatically populate and uh, should start rolling into the playback. So I didn't have anything at noon. My first playback is at 14.04, which is uh, essentially 2.04 p.m., and that was a wasp flying right up to the camera lens. So a little National Geographic's video going on there. Um, and then if I want to move it forward a little quicker, I've got my camera set to pre-record five seconds before activity and post-record five seconds after. So, so it moves into the frame, triggers the uh, event, uh, either it being a line crossing or a uh, activity grid. And then once someone's out of frame, you will count one, two, three, four, five, and the video will stop. And then it'll jump to the next video, which is probably him coming back into the shot, which is here, and bringing the dog back in. <clears throat> so that is my playback. If that was an important video and I wanted to save it, forever then I would uh, download it so I'd make a note of that video started at uh, what was the start time what was the stop time and then I would just hover right over here to the download click on it and here's the three videos that have occurred between noon and 6 30 p.m. on camera number one and I would say this was the one that was important to me I would click on it and I would click on download and it's now downloading to the hard drive on the PC that I am logged into on my DVR. So I now have a permanent record of that so when my DVR overwrites that video I have uh, no worries because it's on my hard drive here on this computer locally at my office while the main storage is on the DVR in my house. And that is it. Thank you for watching another American Wildlife Alarm how-to video and if you liked it give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, set an alert if you want to see more of our videos. Thanks, have a great day.